Hey everyone, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up Laravel to run locally on your machine. Now I created a video earlier, which basically explains how to install all the things that you need for a web server to run on your computer, as well as a few other things like Node.js and Composer. And what I'm gonna to do today is now show you how to make Laravel work properly. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to go into the folder where you're going to install Laravel. So in this instance, uh, if you watch the previous video, we created uh, a XAMPP, there's a XAMPP folder. We go into htdocs and there's a projects folder. And inside there, we're going to install uh, Laravel in a new folder called Laravel. Now, before we do that, what we want to do is we want to go into command prompt. And if you did follow the instructions in the previous video, you would have Composer installed on your computer, which is a PHP dependency manager, and it allows you to download other PHP uh, libraries, I would call it. And what we want to do is we want to use Laravel's uh, installer, and we want to install that on our computer, so then it can install a Laravel project automatically for us. So if you go into command prompt and you type out Composer, require, oh, sorry, Composer Global require Laravel installer. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to connect and it's going to download the Laravel installer and installer on this computer. So then we can simply go into the folder that we want to install Laravel into and just type in Laravel new and then type the name of the folder and then Laravel will do the rest. Now, depending on how fast your internet connection is, uh, how fast your computer is, it can take a bit of time to install this installer. So uh, let's time it now. It's 12.46 p.m. So let's uh, see how long it takes. Okay, so I was wrong. It's only 12.47. So it took about a minute to install the installer. Now that's installed, that's all done. We don't have to do anything else with that. But we want to now go into our C drive. So you can do CD space dot dot and that will take you back to uh, a folder. And then go CD XAMPP. And then we can go to CD HT Docs. And as you can see, we have the projects folder here. So we'll just type CD projects. CD stands for change directory, if you don't know that. And then we'll look at that and you can see we have WordPress folder in there. So what we want to do is we want to do Laravel new and we'll just call it Laravel. So we'll call the folder Laravel, but you can call it whatever you want. And as you can see, because we installed the Laravel installer, it's actually going to automatically create everything that we need for the project to run on our PC. And let's run that and see how long that takes. Okay, so that looks like it took a bit longer than expected. Uh, I actually can't remember what time we started it, but I think that's been about four or five minutes. Um, so anyway, the proje uh, Laravel project has been installed. And as you can see here, Laravel is located there. So what we could do is we could probably do projects.development forward slash Laravel but it doesn't work exactly how we want it to because Laravel is made in a different way to WordPress. So, uh, I mean, WordPress is a C CMS, a content management system, and Laravel is a PHP framework. So the way it works is slightly different, but I'm gonna help you get there, so don't worry. First thing we want to do is we want to go to our host file editor again, and we want to then click on uh, the tick here, Put 127.0.0.1 again and type in, uh, we'll just call it laravel.development. Okay. Save, refresh. You should see that it's all working now. Then what we want to do is we want to go into XAMPP and we want to go to Apache, conf, extra, and then httpd-xamp. And no, that is not the correct place. I'm so sorry to make this mistake. It's HTTP D dash V hosts. Um, and then as you can see, we created this one earlier. Let's copy that and let's change it to laravel.development because that's what we put in the host file. And then put, put HT docs projects forward slash Laravel. And this is the beauty of, of how to make it work with Laravel. You put public. Okay, and then you save that. 
and then you get out of ZAMP, so stop ZAMP and start ZAMP again. And then if you go into Chrome now, you should be able to do laravel.development. And Google sometimes doesn't recognize it. So what you want to do is you just want to click on this up here and you'll notice Laravel is now installed. So uh, now we have Laravel installed. Let's do the rest of the setup so we can start using it straight away. So to do that, uh, one thing that I noticed with uh, Laravel whenever I installed it on a Windows 10 machine is that there's a specified key error whenever we try and migrate the database over. It says like key too long or something like that. So what you want to do is you want to actually go into your Laravel project. So let's get out of the WordPress one and go into our projects Laravel and open up our Laravel project. And uh, we want to go, I'm just looking at my other screen. We want to go into a file called app service provider. So if you do control P in sublime text, you can do a search and do app service provider. And that's the one here. And we want to paste this into the boot function. Okay. And you also want to paste this into the top of the, uh, above the class. So this will basically allow us to, um, allow it to work without the error when we migrate the database over for the first time. Okay. So let's close out of that. Now what we want to do with Laravel is we want to, uh, open up terminal or CMD in the Laravel folder. So what you can do in sublime text, I, th I think hopefully you can do this. If you can't, you just want to go to preferences, package control and install a package. And I think you could type in something like, um, terminal and you should be able to, I think it might be that one. Yeah. Uh, and install that. But as you can see, what I can do is right click on the Laravel folder and open terminal here. And it will actually open up Windows PowerShell, which will allow me to do the things I need to. So the first thing you want to do with Laravel is Composer install. And that's going to install all of the PHP libraries and dependencies that Laravel uses to actually function as a PHP framework. Cool. Okay, we've done that. And then what we want to do is we want to do npm install. And npm install will install all the JavaScript uh, dependencies for Laravel as well. Cool. So we've installed node or NPM into our project. And as you can see, we also have Webpack. Um, and that's the beauty of Laravel. It's already built in to allow you to do, uh, SAS and, uh, JavaScript, um, using NPM. So now that we've got everything working, what we can do is we need to set up a database. So go into localhost PHP, my admin, and we want to just create one and we'll just call it Laravel. And then with uh, Laravel, there is an ENV file and this is where we put all of our passwords and all the stuff that we don't really want to share. Say if you upload your project to GitHub, you don't want uh, the credentials to be uploaded with it because everyone might have their different credentials when they're running a local, uh, local development. So go into the ENV file and we want to call out, we'll leave the app name as Laravel. We will then make debug true because we're lo working locally. We'll just change this to uh, laravel.development. Everything else can be the same. Now what we do, leave, leave the host and the port the same. Database is called Laravel. We've already called it Laravel. The root is the password and uh, the username and the password is nothing. So that's great. That, that's Everything's working perfectly. Let's just stop Apache and restart it. And then to migrate your first database over, what you can do is just do PHP artisan migrate. And that because it's working, which means that the connection to the database is working. So if we go actually go into localhost PHP, my admin, and we go to Laravel, you should see now that everything uses password resets and migrations are there, which means that Laravel now has a successful connection to um, to our database. The last thing you want to do before you start developing with Laravel, and you probably already know this, but you can just open terminal and just do npm run watch. And that is going to run the watches for when you do SAS and npm changes, like add packages and stuff like that. But you will notice here that we have a bit of a problem. 
So saying dependencies must be installed, all this sort of stuff. Uh, okay, so it looks like it installed automatically. There you go. So uh, the watcher is running now. So whenever we do a change in our, uh, let's just go to resources, views, or not views, uh, uh, where are we going? We want to go into SAS. Uh, we'll just go into JS, for example. We'll go to app.js and we'll just type something var i equals zero, for example. Once we hit save, you'll notice on the right hand side here, I'll just move myself for a second. Laravel mix build successful, which means that it's automatically built the app.js dots, app here, which is used for production. Obviously, when you want to go into production, you can just go terminal and just do npm run prod, and that's automatically going to compile everything and make everything really minified for uh, production. So that's about it. Um, this was like a little crash course on how to get Laravel working on your local machine. If you have any questions, please comment on this video and uh, I'll be happy to help you. Thanks very much and all the best.